Good show so far, right? So I was told uh, whenever I signed up for this competition that it was going to have to be clean material. So I'm like, what the beat is that all about? How am I supposed to keep it clean? The cleanest thing you're going to get is I took a shower before I came here, all right? So, for real, right? So, um, you know, the economy's real bad. We're all looking for jobs or even second jobs. So uh, what you got to do, though, is you got to do something you're good at. And I'm good at looking young. So I put my bid in to be the next to catch a predator kid bait. <laughs> We're gonna see how that works out. There was actually some talk of me getting my own reality show, but since the name The Biggest Loser was already taken, they scratched that idea. I know, right? <laughs> so my friend wanted me to join another internet socializing site, and I'm like, why? So I can tell even more people I'm single, lonely, poor, and depressed. I am on Facebook, though, and they have a lot of great features on Facebook. And uh, the one feature they have is you can poke your friends. So I thought I'd give it a try, you know? It's the most action I've seen in a while. So I was up all night poking my friends, and now my computer has an STD. So I don't know, you might not want to do that. I bought a Mustang convertible a few months back, and uh, it's the bee's knees. Yeah, right? Do you guys like keyless entry? Is that not like the best thing ever? Like, I want to get that for my apartment. You know, just like a walk outside, like, doo -doo. you know, you ain't got to worry about it. Somebody breaks in, you just hit the panic button. Your lights are flashing on and off and stuff. You know, but uh, I actually almost tooled my car about uh, two months after I bought it, because some chode turned right in front of me, because I apparently couldn't wait to make that left turn. So my friend was like, well, geez, man, did they tool your car? And I was like, no, just my lights. You know, they went ahead and took a look at it, and they're like, it's not worth salvaging. So he's like, well, I can't believe they didn't tool your car. And I was like, well, I have a full tank of gas. I mean, that's valuable stuff. So I go home, and I'm chatting with this girl on the internet, right? And I was telling her about my wreck. So she tells me about a wreck she was in, because that's what you do. So I came up with the worst pickup line ever, and I was like, really? Well, Maybe we can get in a wreck sometime. Yeah? Maybe I can hit you from the rear and you can deploy your airbags. Don't use it. Like I said, I'm single, and I am the I am the man of every woman's dreams. Unfortunately, nobody's had the dream yet. So. I've been on more dating sites than actual dates. If my dating life were like a baseball game, I would never get past first base. I can't even get a date on The Sims. I'm, I'm for real. So, you know, like my dating, like, it, my luck runs about as good as my luck at the casino, and the only machine that pays me out there is the ATM, you know? But I like playing poker, and I was actually at the casino the other night with my roommate. We pulled an all-nighter, and we're driving home, and there's this girl standing alongside the road, and he's like, dude, hitchhiker, pick her up. And I'm like, oh, she's good looking, right? Why not? You know, so I, I pull over, you know, rolling down. I got to roll down, because I got my other cards, my, you know, Mustang's total, I can't just push the button. Roll down the window, I'm like, hey, uh, you need a ride? And she's like, uh, yeah, to school, you pervert. I'm like, <laughs> can't win. <laughs> so, my, th this lady at work was trying to give me advice on meeting girls. Now she was like, go to the grocery store. I had heard that before, so I'm going to give it a try. So I go to the grocery store, I see this really cute girl. But what you end up doing is stalking her for about eight or nine aisles before you can work up the courage to actually say something. So I finally, I see her in dairy aisle, and I go up to her, and I'm like, I give her the what-up head nod, you know, like, <laughs> Wow, I can't believe that's not butter. <laughs> and she's, where are you going? Do you want to know where the wieners are? No? All right, that didn't work. I was in the grocery store, like I said, so I thought I'd pick up some food, you know, stuff I can actually cook. So I was looking at the Hot Pockets, and the interesting thing about Hot Pockets, there was a thing on the Hot Pocket box, a new label that said, now made with real cheese. I'm like, what the beep is that all about? What the hell was I eating before? You know? And does this mean that I need to start questioning what their meatballs are made out of? <laughs> Thanks, you guys have been great. <laughs> 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 <laughs>